huge, huge three points for Red Star in the second match day of the Europa League. Taking down Ludogorets, it's a team that has given us trouble in the past by a score of 1-0. Uh, excellent goal by uh, Gellar Kanga, who always seems to be the storyline when Red Star faces Ludogorets. Um, they just seem to be drawn together all the time. Uh, and, and those two uh, names are always kind of intertwined together. Always, you can't mention Ludogorets without mentioning Kanga. You can't mention Kanga without mentioning uh, Ludogorets. So to kind of backtrack a little bit, um, I predicted my starting lineup yesterday. Uh, it was a little bit different. The back line is exactly what I had. Um, the midfield, Sonogo as a defensive midfielder, I honestly don't know who was pairing him. I think it was, I think it was Cernic that was pairing him uh, in the midfield. And then in the final third, it was um, Ben, Ivanic, uh, Kanga, and uh, Diony. So as opposed to past games, we usually, Red Star usually doesn't have that defensive midfielder drop back and collect the ball and kind of distribute it uh, to the attacking players, which we actually did today. Uh, and Sonogo was the guy who was dropping back and kind of distributing it all over the place. As the match went on, I would even say that we went with kind of with a three at the back. I would almost say that Sonogo played as a, as a center back. And he was exceptional today yet again. I can't say his praises enough. I thought he was man of the match against Braga. I thought he was the man of the match today. Perfect game for him yet again. Outstanding, especially being shorthand, especially missing four of your key players. Uh, and in the early goings, Ludogorets had a chance right off the bat in the second minute. Popovich kind of got caught in no man's land. The rule of thumb, if you're a goalkeeper and you come out to get a ball, you usually commit to it. You don't stop halfway, which is exactly what Popovich did. Luckily, the Ludogorets player caught it with, with, his, with his shin and, you know, uh, Popovich just kind of ended up saving it. Uh, and and the, the back line was a little bit shaky at the start. Um, like I, I had mentioned, Irakovic and then Pankov, and we knew that they were going to be starting, haven't played together much. Um, playing together in training is a lot different than playing together uh, in an actual match. Um, the initiative in the first half was pretty much all a red start. Um, we had a few chances. Ben had one chance in the first half that he had to absolutely bury from you know, three, four yards out, he was a little bit to the to the left side where he could maybe get it on net. But I thought what we did exceptional today was we pressured Ludogorets' back line as soon as the goalie had the ball. They made a lot of unforced errors, which they kind of did to us as well. But for us, Diony was on top of things. I thought he was poor, but in terms of pressing, I thought he was really good. Even he did a bunch of that then. It was, it was pretty much a team effort. And Sunich playing in that midfield role, honestly, I couldn't even tell you what his position was because he kind of helped out wherever he really needed to be. So wherever Stankovic told him to, you know, help out, that's where he was. There were some times where he was a defensive midfielder. There was times where he was seemed like a, a right midfielder, left midfielder, a right back, a left back. So he was kind of all over the place. Uh, but in terms of a collective team effort, I think this was maybe one of the better games that we've played in the last four or five years when you consider all the players that were out listen your number one goalkeeper out Katai, your best player is out your center back pairing um both out so you have to rely on Panku who hasn't played enough like I said and and Rakovic a youngster uh, who's slowly getting into things he had a bad back pass in the final minutes of the game which I'll I'll let that slide just because he was very good today um and then the the goal that came in the second half was you know, whipped in ball where Pavkov kind of laid it off to Kanga and, you know, top shelf for, for Kanga. And like I said, him and Ludogorets are kind of, you always mention them in the same sentence because of what happened last time um, they played it and, and the wonderful goals that he has scored against him. Um, and, you know, I thought once we scored that, I thought we were going to get another two or three. Uh, just because it was that type of game, Ludogorets didn't really show much going forward. They hit the crossbar off a play that really shouldn't have happened. Um... And I, I think that Red Star created more going forward. Again, the passing in the final third needs a lot of work. Uh, there was a play where Dione, it was pretty much a two-on-one, Ben and Dione uh, against the center back. And Dione gave a pass that was short where Ben had to turn around, collect the ball. And then by the time he did that, you know, Ludogorets was able to, to, to get back. And that was just outside the 18-yard um, the, the box. So it, it's stuff like that that drives you crazy because any goal, any extra goal you have to take. So instead of, you know, going up two or three goals and not worrying about the end result, you know, we're in a, in a one nil scrap against um, Lurgoritz 
and you know they go down to 10 men Cicinho picks up his second yellow I'm not sure if it was really a second yellow it didn't really look it looked like he got Pavko on the head but I didn't really see too much unless I completely missed something but the referee was right there so you know Cicinho picks up his second yellow and you know Little Goritz looks more threatening with 10 men than they did with 11 and you can't do that no matter who is on the pitch you can't let a team with 10 men look more threatening than they did with 11. That's just, it's just that simple. Um, but I, I, we held it together and this is, if this is Red Star from, you know, maybe three, four years ago, I don't know if we do hold it together because there's so much experience in this squad. Um, Rodic, Ivanic, Pavkov, um, we were able to, to hold it together and to hold that result. And this is an important, again, very important three, three points. Prior to this match, when I heard that, you know, Dragovic, Degenik, Borjan, and Katai were out, I said, well, you know, the first three points from the first match are like four or five now, because this is something that, you know, comes, Corona cases kind of come out of nowhere to tell you the truth. And it's not something that you can, you know, say a guy's going to be sick in a week. So we're going to have to, it, it's not. Um, and, and there was some stomach virus stuff going on, going around and, and, and things like that. But um, so, so those three points from that match were huge. And these three points are even bigger now. Um, and Braga ended up beating uh, Mitterland. Mitterland was up 1-0 and ended up losing. I think it was 3-1 at, at the end. Uh, Mitterland being reduced to 10 men as well. But, you know, huge win. So now you're on six points. Um, you're ahead of the group. Um, like I said, the only thing that I can really criticize on is, is the, the finishing and creating more chances. And there's a lot of half chances that we had that we kind of have to create more from. Um, but look, the most important part is three points. Don't care if it's one nil, don't care if it's two nil, two one, whatever the case may be, the three points are great. Um, hopefully the guys who are out can, can come back very soon. Uh, next match is in Michelin, which will be away. And then we have, um, the next two matches at home against Ludogorets and, and Mitterland. And against Ludogorets, I think it's another match that we have to win. I just didn't see too much from them th today. Uh, they brought on some subs as the match went on and they looked a little bit more threatening, but they looked a little bit more threatening because we kind of gave them the ball, which we shouldn't have done with 10 men. And they created some things going forward. Um, in terms of in terms of threatening Red Star throughout the match, they didn't really do that apart from the last, I would say maybe 10, 15 minutes. Uh, is when they really got into it. Uh, Stanich also picked up an injury. We'll see how uh, crucial that is. He's one of the bonus players for the um, for the regular season, so to say, for the domestic league. So uh, Vidakovic is probably going to have to pick up the slack in terms of you know the bonus. You have to have a bonus player play at least a half. So I think it's it's up to him. Again, Novelko Nikolic and Njegos Petric again today. Um, I'm not questioning what uh, Stankovic is doing, but it's just very interesting. You know, they haven't played in a, in a long time. But to wrap it up, great three points. Sit on six points after um, two matches. And, you know, we go on from here. Uh, Mitterland is the next match. And hopefully we could get a result over there as well.